is going on? I got you here coming at you with the top five Destiny exotic weapons for year one. Yes, the top five exotic weapons. And this is a list that CBS King and I have came up with. And this is what we believe to be the best five in order from five to one. One being the best, of course. But before we get into this list, I just want you guys to put in the comment section below your top five. We want to see what your top five is compared to ours. And that way we can discuss back and forth and see the differences and you guys' opinion compared to ours. And this will be a nice way to get you guys involved too because I want to see what your top five are. Also, in case you guys missed it, we also did a top five Destiny exotic armor for year one. And that is going to be in the description, so make sure you guys click on that. Check that out as well in case you missed it because that is an awesome list as well. So let's go ahead and get into this top five list. Coming in at number five is Bad Juju. And the Bad Juju's description reads, If you believe your weapon wants to end all existence, then so it will. Tolan the Shattered. And this weapon made our top five because it is a very versatile weapon for both PvP and PvE. And that is how we broke down every weapon for our top five. And don't forget to leave your top five in the comment section below so that way we can compare your list with ours. But getting into the Bad Juju, the first perk it has is Full Auto. And for a pulse rifle that is very nice, not having to worry about timing your shots, you can just hold down the trigger. The second perk is Hip Fire. This weapon has bonus accuracy while firing from the hip. And then the next set of perks is Armor Piercing Rounds, Send It, or Perfect Balance. So depending on your situation or the scenario, you could change those to better your fighting encounters. But the last perk that really helped this weapon make the top five list is the String of Curses. This weapon reloads instantly, increases damage for a short time, and decreases the cooldown of your super after each kill. And it reduces your super by 7.5 seconds for each kill. And that is very, very nice, because that has a positive effect for both PvE and PvP. And that is why it made our top five list. But we cannot move on without an honorable mention, and that would be the Red Death. Coming in at number four, is the Thunderlord. And the description reads, they rest quiet on fields afar, for this is no ending, but the eye. The Thunderlord is a very versatile machine gun. It can be used in both PVP and PVE, and it'll get its job done. The first perk reads, Feeding Frenzy. Kills with this weapon increase reload speed for a short time. The second set of perks that you could use are either Perfect Balance for extremely low recoil, Field Scout for maximum ammo capacity, or Flared Magwell. Reload this weapon even faster. And then the last perk, the power perk, would be the Lightning Rounds. This weapon fires faster and more accurately the longer the trigger is held. So with all that being said, the Thunderlord made our number four spot easily Coming in at number three is Vax Mythoclast. Description reads, a casual loop within the weapon's mechanism suggesting that the firing process somehow binds space and time into. The Vex is a fusion rifle that is a primary and it has solar burn. So the solar burn alone for a primary weapon makes it a very, very worthy opponent. And with it being a fusion rifle, Instead of having to worry about a charge time, the gun is now automatic, which is very nice too. Even though in the description, the Timeless Mythoclass spot says this weapon has no charge time. It fires a single bolt with each trigger pull, leading you to believe that it is semi-automatic, but in reality, it is fully automatic. The upgrades for the gun is Zen Moment. Causing damage with this weapon increases its stability. The next set of perks you could use are either Extended Mag, increase magazine size, Send It, increases range and accuracy, or Lightweight. When held, this weapon grants plus two character agility. And then the final perk is Crowd Control. 
Kills with this weapon grant bonus damage for a short period of time. The Vex made our top 5 list because it is versatile in both PvP and PvE. The Solar Burn makes it a very strong opponent whenever you are playing PvE. It is also very strong in PvP. So the Vex Mytho class makes our number 3 spot. And again, make sure that you guys leave your top 5 in the comment section below so that way we can compare our list with yours. Before moving forward, we have another honorable mention, and that is the Soros Regime. And we believe if not for the nerf, this gun would still be highly used today. Yes, there are still some guardians that choose to use it, but its true power has been nerfed and it is not good as it used to be. Coming in at number two is the Gallahorn. You cannot have a top five Destiny exotic weapons list and not include the Gallahorn. So the Gallahorn makes our number two spot. And then the description reads, if there is beauty in destruction, why not also in its delivery? Fiesel Crux. The perks for the Gallahorn start with tracking. Shells fired from this weapon track their targets. The next set of perks to choose from, Quick Draw, the weapon can be drawn unbelievably fast. Snapshot, aiming this weapon is incredibly fast. Or Speed Reload, reload this weapon quickly. And the last perk, Wolfpack Rounds. Rounds fired from this weapon split into tracking cluster missiles upon detonation. Throughout year one, the Gallahorn was a very sawed out exotic weapon. Some people never got the chance to experience the Gallahorn dropping in the raid as others might have multiple times. Luckily, Bungie blessed us towards the end of year one with allowing Xur to sell the Gallahorn, which made the community happy as a whole for us to experience the joy of having a Gallahorn. So with that being said, the Gallahorn is at our number two spot. And make sure to leave your top five in the comment section below so we can compare our list with yours. Because I know for the most part, a lot of you guys will have the Gallahorn as number one. Now let's get into what we're all here for. Let's see what comes in at number one. Coming in at number one is the Icebreaker. The Icebreaker reads, please replace these components if use causes fatal damage. Heatsink, magazine, operator. One of the best things about the Icebreaker is the effect no backpack. Cannot be reloaded, regenerates ammo over time. This is a very needed perk in different scenarios. And with this, it is very versatile for both PvP and PvE. The perks that go with the Icebreaker start with Mulligan. Missing a shot has a chance to return ammo directly to the magazine. The next set of perks, Quick Draw. This weapon can be drawn unbelievably fast. Lightweight. When held, this character grants plus two character agility. And Snapshot. Aiming this weapon is incredibly fast. And then the final perk for the Icebreaker is Icebreaker. Icebreaker's victims spontaneously combust, dealing damage to others nearby. The Icebreaker perk is also very nice for whenever you are in PvE and get the headshots to help damage other enemies around that victim. With the Icebreaker being able to regenerate ammo over time, this is also very nice. You do not have to worry about finding ammo packs on the ground, or if you're in PvP and playing Crucible, you do not have to worry about when is the next special coming up for you to be able to get special ammo. The Icebreaker also hits very hard. The Icebreaker was used a lot during Year 1 of Destiny, especially for the raids. It would come in handy for the Vault of Glass, and it would also come in handy for Crota's End when doing the Thrall run because of the icebreaker perk it would really help clear the way to get through the maze so there you go there is our top five for the destiny exotic weapons for year one let us know if you agree or not and if you haven't heard it enough already make sure you leave your top five in the comment section below i know i said a lot during this video it's just because we want your feedback because this topic right here is very different between the players because we as a community have our own favorites so sometimes that might change how we look at things but we tried to make this as balanced as possible with how good it is in both pvp and pve so remember that for your list so hope you guys enjoyed our top five if you did make sure to hit that like button for us make sure to subscribe to cbs king 757 his link will be in the description and make sure to subscribe to me i got you my link will also be in the description 
So until next time, I got you. Ow. What are you waiting for? Do it! Yes, you can! <laughs>